Hey guys, this is Steve Walbach with Fun With Balloons. I'm a balloon artist. My wife and I, we, we do different balloon events. Uh, we do the different sculpting. We can make a lot of different shapes. Uh, we do anything from small birthday parties up to big, large arts festivals, um, community days, all sorts of different events. Grand openings, different banks, different other types of businesses that open up. Uh, we've been involved with a lot of company picnics. It's, uh, it's really a nice thing and it's fun and we enjoy doing it. Um, I wanted to mention one thing today. Um, I was going to do something, I'm going to save that for the next one. But let me, let me just talk about real quick here about a balloon artist. Uh, what, what are the qualities that you want in a balloon artist? What makes a balloon, what separates one balloon artist from another? And, and what, um, what would be one, what, what are the qualities, let's put it that way, that you should be seeking in a balloon artist? Balloon artist, balloon sculptor, balloon guy, you know, clowns. I've never gotten dressed up as a clown. A lot of people, they ask me, you know, what, you, so you, you're a clown, huh? No, I'm not, I mean, some people think I'm a clown. I don't dress as one, though. Uh, but no, we are people that work and manipulate and twist balloons to make different shapes and it's not always just animals you know sometimes we'll make hats we make uh, swords you know we'll, we'll make uh, ray guns um, you know there's all sorts of different things that we do so it's not just animals uh, but the qualities uh, in a balloon are so I've seen myself if I'm at some event somewhere let's say I'm not working and we're just my wife and I are attending something <clears throat> What's important, and I, I see a lot of times, which baffles me, is you need to enjoy working with children. And and so many people that I see, they they uh, it, it seems like they they really despise the whole situation. It's like, what am I doing here? Why am I? What do you mean? Why are you here? You're getting paid to bring joy and make balloons to the, the children and interact with them. Uh, but yet it seems like it's such a chore, which to me, that should be a, a, a number one trait, is the fact that you enjoy interacting with the kids. You enjoy making a child happy. I can't, what, what, what's better? To make a shape, you hang it to that little child, and all of a sudden they get this big smile on their face, right? And they turn around, and they look up at mommy and daddy, or one or the other, and look what I have. And then what's really neat, the parents, I mean, they, they make a really big deal out of this. Too. Oh, well, Susie, look at that. You've got that little ladybug. Or you have this. Or look, you have the pink poodle. Oh, that's so beautiful. And, it, I mean, the kids, they, they eat this up. And they enjoy it. And, it, and it's, you're bringing happiness. Why would you not want to do something like that, right? And that's, that's all part of all this. When, when you're making the balloons, you're... you're also putting on a show. The way I look at things, we're providing entertainment. We're providing balloons, but we're also providing, we have an interaction. There's a banter back and forth. You know, I have a little child come up and, you know, we'll, we'll say, oh, wow, that dress is, that's such a pretty dress. Boy, you know, I wish when I was a little girl, I had a dress like that. And, you know, a lot of times that goes over their heads, but when it doesn't, they sort of like turn and look up to, to mom or whatever and no, was he little girl back then? No, 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 no. Or I'll say, oh, I like those sandals. Oh, look, it's frozen. Oh, I like Elsa. I, th that's my favorite too. I wonder, can, maybe can I, can, can we trade? Sometimes I'll let you have my shoes and I would like to wear yours. I think that would be a lot of fun. Can we do that? And of course, the other look at me like, that's not gonna work. I'm not giving you these things. Um, but you know, there's the interaction back and forth. Oh, you know, I like you have twins, or just just brother and sister, right? You've done it to be twins, and I'll, I'll say to them, "Oh, so that's your your brother, huh? Or or that's your sister? Great. Listen, let me. How long have you known them? Uh, well, uh, and the parent will say, "Well, yeah. How long have you known them? It's ever since they they were born, right? Uh, and how old are they?" And it's simple, silly little things, but it's it's a back and forth. It, it, the child 
most of the time enjoys it, even if they don't get all of it. It's the fact that we're talking with them. We're not talking to them. We're talking with them. We're in incorporating. We're getting them involved with this. Oh, you know, I used to do this. Do you, do, does this, you know, do you think you could do something like this someday? Or what would you think about twisting this? And, you know, when I would twist it in the beginning, I didn't hold this part and it would just come undone. And they would, and sometimes I let it happen and they chuckle, you know, that it just came undone again. Now I have to twist it again. I have to remember to hold it. So that, that that's one of the biggest qualities to be able to interact and, and actually like being with children. You know, it's, it, it seems for that type of position, being a sculptor, that that's who your audience normally is, that it, it's, it doesn't seem to come naturally. There's a lot of people, they have like this sourpuss. Well, who, you know, what do you want to interact with that guy for? I mean, he, might, he, he must be doing some really super crazy things. And let's face it, when you're at a very large event, there's not time do some really big knuckle busting. Knuckle busting is more of a term in magic. I, I used to, to do magic years ago. You know, all the fancy finger flipping with the coins or the cards or the balls and all this bit. Uh, but the bottom line is we're here to entertain. We want the guests to enjoy their experience. And you know what I've seen over the years? We go, because there are a lot, many times we go back to the same place every year. It's being held again and we're invited back which I love that. These little children are growing up. I remember last year you made me, I, I, you know, can you make this one this time? I want to get this one instead. And I like that one, but now I want this one. And it's, you know, we're, 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 we're extended family there type thing. You know, they look forward to, oh, will that guy be there? Or the mom will say, oh, you moved. You, you weren't in the same place that you were last year. We were looking over there and we didn't see anybody. We thought you guys weren't there. No, well, they told us that they wanted to put us over in this area now. And it's great, this interaction. It, 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 I mean, from my standpoint, I feed on for that makes the day go quicker, right? The time that we're there, if we're there for an event for three or four hours, that can be, but because you have that exchange back and forth and you know, you, you incorporate these little people. Let's face it, there's, I mean, for my little bit of time that I'm with them, it is limited, you're right. But you know what? I also have a responsibility as an adult to try to create as good a positive experience for them as possible. We want them through their childhood to have as many positive experiences accumulated so that as they grow older and they become and evolve into that teenager, into the a young adult, they have these memories that have helped to shape them. Positive things, not negative things. There's, there's enough negative out there. We need to somehow counteract that and do some positive things. Um, but that, that, that's that, I mean, uh, what, what's another quality? Well, you got to be able to know what to do as far as twisting. But as I was saying, when you're at a really big event, you don't have time to do something really elaborate. One, two balloon shape is what you're doing. And, and there's plenty of them out there that kids enjoy doing. So it's a matter of what would you like? What color? That's it. Let's make this thing. I want you to be happy. And, and that's, that's what we're able to do for them. So you want something that's personable. You want something that's going to be able to interact with your children. You want someone that's that's going to not have any nasty habits. You know, you, you, you don't need to have foul language. You don't need to have some guy spitting a bunch somewhere. Uh, you know, you don't need to have somebody saying some off-color things. You want things to be positive. You want to keep it light. It's fun. Life needs to be. Uh, sometimes it, it, it's not going to be light. You know, there are things in life that are very, uh, what's the opposite of light? Heavy. But, you know, things that are, are, are very much and the, the words escape me right now. Serious, that's it. But we don't always need to be serious. We need to break down some and actually just be able to share and laugh. If, if we can laugh a lot more, that would make a difference. So fun with balloons is just that. You're going to get fun, Dagnam. If I have to ram that fun in your ear, you're going to have fun. How's that? So guys, I hope that you know this somewhat makes some sense. Be careful who you choose when you're looking to per uh, purchase, when you're looking to make arrangements and engage the services of somebody. Somehow, see if you can feel them out and 
Do they really like what they're doing? Or is this thing because it's just all about money? I mean, I, I have to admit, I mean, it's nice that we get paid for doing things too. I mean, to, to be able to interact and have fun and then to get paid too, that's the icing on the cake. That's a great situation. But it's very important that they have to, they, they have some type of interaction. You know, children need that. They need to be engaged constantly. You know, there's too much of this on the phone or the iPad or what have you. We got to get that one-on-one. -on -one. We need to maintain reinforcement of people, inner people skills and communication. That's very important. And you're going to get a bunch of that from us. My wife and I, sometimes my wife and I will go back and forth on things and I'll say this and she'll say he thinks he's funny and I, I, I hear this so often. It's, and you know, but it's all done in fun. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed what you heard. Uh, I did get a little bit more long-winded than what I thought I could be. But uh, please, watch watch these videos. Please, when you have an event coming up, keep us in mind. Uh, we might be a good fit for your uh, situation, your occasion. Uh, we're, we're always open. We're looking to be hired. If you're looking to hire someone, we need to get together. It'll be a, a great relationship here. If you like what you heard, give me one of these. If you didn't like what, no. You have to like what you heard. There's none of this. It's all going to be positive, right? It's like uh, field goal bars or extra point bars. That's football term. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. The next video you see, we're going to actually do a little tutorial showing you how to make a duck. So, in the meantime, God bless you.